Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. I'm in this amazing place. How cool is that? Check that. That's Rubblehead Viaduct. And I think I was here last year. Oh, it might have even been the year before and I photographed this when the Flying Scotsman came over uh, I think it's just when it kind of emerged from a major overhaul that it had so it was kind of a maiden run but uh, Vincent from my Facebook group cheers Vince, uh, Vincent give me a heads up that the um, Flying Scotsman is going across the Ribblehead Viaduct today again and I've got about 30 minutes to get or find a composition, get myself in the A1 position. I'm loaded with two cameras today, so I've got my um, my standard wide angle lens, my 24mm lens to try and grab uh, the whole of the Ribblehead viaduct in, that whole vista. But also my one to 400mm lens as well, so fingers crossed I can uh, zoom in and get quite a tight up shot of the front of the engine billowing smoke as it hurls across the Rubblehead Viaduct. So I'm very excited about this today. Very excited once again. Thanks a lot, Vincent. Cheers, pal. I'm in position, we've got about 15 minutes to go and I'm super excited. The conditions uh, are fair to middling. Um, obviously the issue you've got is shooting from the position where I'm shooting. This time of the morning, um, I'm shooting directly into the sun, but fingers crossed there's a, a quite a strong cloud base covering it at the moment. So uh, things are looking good in that respect. But the other slight issue I, I'm, I'm, well, I'm gonna have now is the wind is blowing across the viaduct, which means as um, the Flying Scotsman comes towards me with the wind blowing that way, the smoke, the steam is literally gonna fall over and down in front of the engine covering probably the carriages so that's the only issue now i suppose if that's my worst issue today i mean it's not raining fingers crossed the light looks pretty much okay if that's my worst case scenario then fine i can live with that um but because of the wind situation that's why i decided to come to the a1 position if i go further across and shoot more square on to the viaduct which i had planned on doing today with this wind blowing straight down it quite literally it's just going to cover everything and it's just i don't know i just I just wasn't feeling it so yeah that's my rationale let's talk you through my camera setup i've brought two cameras two lenses today so i can grab simultaneous shots my first one i've got my 24 mil lens on there and basically that's going to be for the vista nice and wide angle starting at the right hand side left hand side and of course the trains coming towards us so what i'm going to do is wait till the train is about two-thirds of the way across the bridge click the button and fingers crossed grab a nice shot now my second camera is interesting um, because this is the gamble i'm not really sure whether this will work or not but let me talk you through my rationale i'm going to shoot I've got a 1 to 400 mil lens on there and I'm going to shoot this, I'm quite tight actually, um, I'm 100 and, 120 mil, something around about 
uh, somewhere around about that and I'll probably crop in a little bit tighter as well but my rationale with that is it's in portrait orientation quite tight so realistically what I'm looking for in terms of storytelling I've got two-thirds of the viaduct in with a third obviously um, it's not sky because it's mountain in the background so I've positioned myself so I don't have to worry about the mountain in the background so the top third will contain just the engine just the engine that's my thought process with that but of course I've been here before and I've already got this shot and I've really come away with a nice shot so it doesn't matter if it doesn't work so at the end of the day I might as well come and experiment and 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 see if it works or not so when I grab that shot and let you guys see it whether it's good or not we'll just see it anyway right let me talk you through my camera setup on the 24 mil lens it's nice and wide um, the light's not particularly brilliant today but I suppose it's like I said earlier it's better than shooting directly into the sunlight so what I'm having to do is to really crank my ISO up so my ISO at the moment is at ISO 1000 uh, which will give me an aperture at f4 now f4 is a shallow depth of field but of course because I'm focusing so far away then everything everything will be in focus so really you don't have to worry about that f4 is perfectly fine um, I'm pre-focused a third of the way into the viaduct and that's realistically where I want to capture the train so I've pre-focused to there so even if it was a shallow depth of field it wouldn't matter it's perfectly fine so ISO 1000 I'm an f4 now the reason why I've opted for such an, a high ISO is because I wanted a thousandth of a second shutter speed now to be honest that's way overkill uh, it doesn't it doesn't hurt lacrosse at 100 miles an hour so I probably could have slowed that shutter speed right down maybe uh, maybe four 400th of a second was probably uh, a good a good safe bet so there you go that's my setup uh, f4 iso 1000 and 1000th of a second shutter speed my second camera that i'm shooting in portrait orientation it's pretty similar except i can't shoot uh, as wide open because of the uh, 1 to 400 mil lens that's on there so what i'm opting for here is I'm opting for 800th of a second. I'm slowing it down ever so slightly because I really haven't cranked my ISO up. I'm at F5 and because I'm at F5, my ISO is at 2000. But once again, I really can't stress this enough. The chances are because it's, it's an okay day, what I'm having to do is to, um, I'll, I'll probably convert this image into black and white and, and and even if it's grainy does it matter we're photographing a steam train coming across you know a couple of hundred year old uh, maybe a lot I don't actually don't know how old it is I just made that number up but coming across an, an old bridge an old viaduct so at the end of the day if it's an old black and white film looking rustic image with lots of noise on it it really doesn't matter but honestly at ISO 2000 I can throw that into Photoshop and I can clean that up so I'm really not worried about that so there you go that's my second camera all set up 800 of a second f4 and at ISO 2000 right in the bag good or bad I'm not really sure um, as suspected the wind brought the smoke and steam across the other carriages so I'm hoping that my portrait orientation shot works because that is the concentration purely on the engine but of course we'll just have to wait and see so what I've decided to do I took the shot but I've hung around I've waited till everybody's dispersed and the reason why I like to do that is because I wasn't particularly too happy with the sky I'm not you're not seeing too much of the sky in the image anyway because obviously we're shooting into a mountain in the background but to err on the side of caution I've hung back a bit I've waited till those bright spots of light in the sky have drifted past and I've taken a couple of shots as well so I'll I might merge the images together I'm just edging my bets to see if I can make this picture maybe a bit better by changing the sky um, on top of that I had another great idea 
there's a lot of movement in this sky a lot of movement because it's quite windy so because of it i actually thought you know work or not work it doesn't really matter it's all about experimenting and having some fun i threw my 10 stop filter on there i haven't moved my 24 mil wide uh, camera I haven't moved that camera at all left it in position and so I've thrown my 10 stop filter on there and taken a two minute exposure just to blur that uh, all those clouds out all together blur them move yeah you understand what I mean so that again has given me an option I can change that sky it might look a bit weird but uh, you know to the untrained eye it'll look different now right or wrong whether you like it or whether you don't like it whether I like it or whether I don't like it it doesn't really matter at this present moment in time I'm just giving myself some options that's all oh, nice cup of coffee that's it in the back right okay so I've got a bit of time to kill before I head home I'm just looking around just to see if I can maybe grab another shot or two and I can see in the distance a bit of limestone across there I might wander across there and see if I can maybe grab a landscape shot while I'm here Thank you. 